Thanks for joining us for 8 News at 5. I'm Deanna Albritton. And I'm Heather Hope. Eric has the night off. Virginia will not add the COVID vaccine to the list of required school shots in the immediate future. But that could change down the road if state leaders follow a new recommendation. Capitol Bureau reporter Jackie DeFusco is live in the studio to explain how this all works. Jackie. Hey guys, well, we're talking about this because earlier this week, a CDC advisory committee voted to add COVID vaccines to the 2023 childhood and adult immunization schedules. A press release emphasizes this is only a recommendation and that states will make their own decisions about school entry requirements. Today, confusion after Governor Glenn Youngkin took to Twitter saying, quote, the decision to vaccinate a child against COVID-19 is for Virginia parents to make about what's best for them and their family. We will not adhere to the CDC government mandates. But in statements this morning, Republican House Speaker Todd Gilbert and the Virginia Department of Health contradicting the governor, both saying the CDC's actions have no immediate impact on school vaccine requirements in Virginia. This after opponents took their concerns to education leaders this week. Week. What actions are you going to take to protect our children? To move forward with a mandate in Virginia, a politically divided General Assembly or the State Board of Health would have to take action following a public comment period. Lawmakers gave regulators that power just recently. The new law says the board should make changes periodically to align with the CDC's list. And several new shots have been required in schools since with religious and medical exemptions. Here's Richmond pediatrician Sean McKenna. It doesn't say that everything on the list is required vaccination for school attendance. Again, looking back at the flu vaccine, that's been on there for years and we don't require that for school attendance, although we all do highly recommend that everybody get their flu vaccine and that everybody get their COVID vaccine. Now, the health department says that COVID shots likely will not be added to the Vaccines for Children program until it is commercialized. They expect in the summer of 2023. A spokesperson says that will enable low-income children to gain access to COVID vaccinations. Live in the studio, I'm Jackie DeFusco, 8 News.